So now that we know how to transfer the chart from sheet 1 to sheet 2, let us learn some new tricks. What if I want the user to specify the sheet name and then transfer the chart to that specific sheet name? So let's say uh, uh, in this example, I don't want it to be shifted in sheet 2, but I would like the user to specify the sheet name. Say, for example, uh, the user specifies the sheet name as valuation of Google. So this would be the sheet name, maybe, you know, just valuation for the time being. This is the sheet name. And so the macro should create another sheet name called valuations. Okay. And transfer the chart so and then this chart should be essentially be transferred here so this is the overall objective now so uh, earlier we had transferred from sheet 1 to sheet 2 and sheet 2 was a predetermined sheet now we want the user to give us the sheet name and we will create a sheet name through running some process and we should be able to transfer that okay so that's that's the overall objective and let's see you know how it goes so I'll delete all these things in between which I did uh, so as to come back to the original configuration uh, I will also delete the additional uh, codes of cut and paste so that the chart is formed here itself in sheet number one it is not uh, in sheet number two okay so let me run this macro first that is chart sample and so I have this macro here now what do I want to do I want to transfer this to a new worksheet altogether okay so uh, let me again do the same task I will record a macro using some incremental activity and I will logically connect by manipulating some data same thing again and again so let's try and do it so let me record a macro new worksheet so let me chart underscore new worksheet okay so this is the name and whatever I will do now will get transferred okay into the coding format so the first thing I do is I'll select this chart I'll do right click and can you see this move chart click on move chart and I want to move it to the new worksheet okay and by default it is named as chart one so let me name this as uh, let's say uh, valuations okay so, and I click okay so what happens is there's a new worksheet by the name of valuations is formed and this chart gets transferred to that worksheet okay so let me now stop my code and see what is going on behind the scenes okay so here I have clicked on macros and uh, I want to see what is there behind the scenes and I click on edit so this is my incremental code look at this code I mean see this this code seems to be very very simplified chart 15 dot activate so I'm sure it came twice because I may have clicked on that chart twice do we require this chart 15 please note we don't require this chart 15 or chart 10 which is here because we are already in the active chart and the moment we run again and again these chart counters actually change so we don't want to land in a situation where we uh, always have to change the chart numbers so the code is very simple I just want to have this now what this this uh, whole code will do is that this will transfer the chart from the active location or the current location to a new location with by the name of valuations okay so I'll just cut or copy this code and paste it here at chart sample so that's what I do okay so sounds good let me go back to my worksheet and I'll delete this and let me run my macro and let's see you know if this works or not the macro name is chart sample and once I run this you can see that this chart is actually formed in the valuation sheet 
okay so at least some part is achieved what uh, we wanted to actually do was we wanted the user to specify the sheet name did the user specify the sheet name here no the user didn't specify the sheet name because we had already assumed that user is going to say this but user wanted to kind of uh, name the sheet as ABC so we didn't give uh, the user an opportunity to do that so that is where I will now introduce you to another concept uh, which is called as um, you know uh, uh, taking inputs from the user through Excel so that's how how will we do that we can kind of you know um, define a variable uh, or define uh, a variable something like this you know you want the sheet name so I'll call sh this variable as sheet underscore name so this is totally random it's up to your choice I'm defining something and what do we want as input okay so I'll call this as input box you remember we have earlier done something like a message box a message box was a box that prompted up uh, uh, as as uh, as some prompt. You remember we had done in the context of uh, 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 the age uh, coding, senior citizen versus uh, you know major versus minor, and there was a ma uh, there was a message box. Here the input box is a box which will get prompted within the Excel, but this will accept your input, so you will be able to type your inputs there say for example we want to have the sheet name so I'm taking this as an input box so I can give instructions here under the inverted commas enter the name of the worksheet okay and I'll click enter okay and next is that says this is a variable name I, I'll just do a small tweaking or customization instead of this called valuations I'll just write here as sheet name okay so I think with these two codes our work should be done so let's try it out and uh, and hope for the best 